So hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to check out this 2019 Proton Azora Premium. So this car just launched two days ago. So today I'm going to review it. So there are two trim levels in this 2019 Proton Azora, which is the executive and the premium. They all share the same engine and transmission. So when you look at the front, right, this is exactly the same as the more recent update in the 2018 model. You get this LED DRL with the chrome lineup, and you get this gloss black panel right here. While the executive, we get a chrome together with this 3D proton batch. So this premium spec costs around 66,800 ringgit, while the executive costs about 59,800. So to me, in the C segment MPV, because the Azura is actually a C segment MPV. These prices are really, really attractive because it, you you get a bigger car while you're paying less. So let's continue our exterior tour. So we get halogen reflectors, a really basic stuff, but to me it's not a big deal. So the premium spec, you get this 60-inch uh, dual tone design rim. While the executive, you, you doesn't get a dual tone design, but you get this same design rim. So you get this. Uh, Gloss, I think, gloss grey body kits. While the executive, it doesn't get the body kit whatsoever. And you get this black side mirrors to get with the LED signal indicators. So, really, I think the Proton as well have a good feature, which is you get front and rear disc brake. So it have better stopping power. The only thing that you can differentiate the 2019 model and the rest is the shark fin antenna. Yes, the Proton did update the Proton Ezra with the shark fin antenna. You get the rear spoiler in the premium while the executive does not get it. So the back looks pretty much the same. So get this C-shaped LED illuminated tail lights. So you get the reverse camera. So this reverse camera is basically the new design, new, uh, new model. So you get rear fog lights. Reverse sensors are standard across the range. So like I said, uh, this is a um, uh, old car so it doesn't get the keyless entry and the keyless start whatsoever. So yeah, this is uh, overall exterior tour of this 2019 Proton Azora Premium. Okay, so let's get in the car. The door feels light compared to my father used to own a 2012, 2011 model. So this door feels lighter than my Proton, uh, Proton Azora. So immediately you get in the car, you will see you have a different seat upholstery. This is a semi leather config configuration like the Proton Iris and the Persona. So get this mm, really special patterns right here. Together with some leather and some stitching, makes the car more classy. And so, this have uh, also have the same design. This is fabric and leather contrast and some stitching right here. So, um, pretty good design though. Um, the texture feels rough, but it's okay. Um, feels more solid. Door closing sound. So, get this electronic window function with driver side auto down and up side mirror folding function and electronic side mirrors adjustment so get the card holder some storage down here so this is actually a fuse box don't open it and down here so got a tray to store something so you get a new steering wheel design with the 
GKS system high protect mode activated. So it's actually not a new design because Proton want to fit inside the GKUS touchscreen system so they have redesigned the center console and with some Proton wordings right here to have some detailing but to me this looks mm, pretty good nah. compared to before it's really dull design but this looks much more better you get this new instrument cluster together with the 3.5 inch TFT display but this is actually a mono Chrome, not like the premium iris and the premium persona, it gets color display. So, get this cruise control settings. This have been standard across the range. So, the signal stock still on the left side, but the feedbacks are getting much more solid. So get this borderless rear wheel mirror. Mm, to me, this is a good detail. And we got the lights. Now the car is currently not started, so I cannot open it. Uh, some visor to get with the vanity mirror. So you lose up the SAT function, which means simulator automatic transmission, like you get in the 2011 model. You get this punch CVT. Uh, many of the consumer complain the punch CVT is a bit loud but uh, it's really decent uh, to me and the quality of the aircon knobs feels improved from the from my 2011 Proton Azora and you get the electronic stability control at the premium spec while the executive it doesn't get it and the uh, hazard slide, rear defrost and uh, rear fog lights because the front being the LED DRL, so it doesn't have the front fork light function. So they have been putting uh, two USB ports down here. Before this, this is uh, actually a storage tray together to put your phones. Now you get the two USB ports. It's really convenient feature. You get this 12 volt socket, two cup holders, and small storage. The one thing I like about Azura is the front seat, you get this like the pilot seat cent uh, center armrest. So actually it's really comfortable for longer distance. You can rest your hands here and here. But this is hard plastic lah, actually. So the texture feels, the plus texture of the plastic feels the same as the 2011 and 2007 and 2008 model. Hard plastic too. Uh, it's not a big deal because in this price range, you cannot expect much. So, okay. So the reverse camera is already integrated into the touchscreen. But in the older model, it is at the rear wheel mirror. So to me, this looks much more better because it's bigger compared to the side mirrors. It's really small. And also the resolution is really decent. At the back, you still get the same pattern as the front. You still get hard plastic and some storage. So, okay. Uh, this is a seven-seater version. Uh, no, it's seven-seater like basically. So you cannot uh, adjust the position of the middle row seats. So it's fixed. So I got slightly less leg support. And, but it's really spacious though. Mm, I got this much of leg room and a lot of headroom. So get the seat pockets here. Mm, pretty practical. And two cup holders for the back. Mm. So you think like, hey, um, <clears throat> why is no rear aircon vents at the back? No, the brother actually put a rear aircon vents at the upper section. Uh, this is a switch to control the fan speed of the rear blower so it's pretty good features because most seven seater car right they have they never have the rear account vents they actually put it here so actually we will not make the car cool faster but this do and you still got this center armrest but no cup holders it's all right because you can rest your hands here so, yeah. 
So to able to get to the rear seats, you simply push this. Or oh, you might need to fold the rear seats up. So to fold the rear seats, the third row seats up, you, you pull these wraps and then the seat will go up. So to fold down the rear seats, the middle row seats, simply press this one touch action it will tumble front to have better access to the back so i just sit here so in the third row it's no longer to have a good leg room it's about the depth so because if you have a shallow depth that means you get less leg support and it will be very tiring when you go to a longer distance trip but it's pretty decent mm, yeah Pretty decent. I think this is more suitable for a child. If you want to see the adult bag, I think it's rather spacious compared to others uh, mainstream brands such as the Toyota Innova, which is a bit cramped, and the Nissan Serena, but it's more expensive than this Azora. So, this car is basically suitable for some people will, who have family but with a tight budget so this car is really a good bargain when you buy this in this time because it's really really affordable and so get this uh, storage space together with the cup holders uh, two sides so it's pretty good so let's get down So when the third row seat is up, you get a pretty decent loading space when you you see a jack and the emergency triangular that the spare tire is actually mounted down the undercarriage It's a space saver type So to fold down the rear seats, you pull this and then So it will create a flat floor so this is a big advantage of the Azora because you can fold the rear seats flat enough so you can load longer items. Okay. So we get these two layers so of space. Oh, this actually dips down slowly so pretty good detail and here we also got the three kg hook you can hook your teh tarik or nasi lemak or some groceries hmm, pretty practical glove box and no matter which variant you choose you only get two airbags uh, I can understand it because this is not a really new car it's an old platform car which Debuted in uh, 2011. This is actually a running change rather than a facelifted model. So they just changed some details of the car and improved some sound insulation of the car. And to me, overall, the build quality of this car is pretty improved from the earlier version of the Azora. Get the anything mirror with the sun visor. So yeah, this is the interior tour of this 2019 Proton Azora Premium. Okay, so now conclusion time. So to me, the quality of this 2019 Proton Azora is much more improved compared to the older version of that because basically you get uh, more modern features such as the touchscreen with high proton system and the newer instrument cluster with TFT information and also it's uh, a much more comfortable seats with fabric and leather configurations and also a pretty large rear space but some parts is starting to show its, its age such as the exterior looks you still get the real rather basics 
reflect the headlights but to me it's not a big deal because the replacement cost will be much more affordable compared to other cars such as the LED headlights kind of things and this center console is is refreshed to me this looks much better compared to before it feels a bit down and you still get this uh, rather simple aircon controls but it will last longer compared to others such as the uh, digital aircons and the biggest advantage of the Ezra is you can actually force down the rear seats really flat to able to load heavy items and longer bulky items and you actually lose out some features such as the uh, simulated automatic transmissions as you get in the older version of the Azora, you get this punch CVT like what the Persona and the Iris use but it's different mechanism, slightly different and you still get a lot of USB charger but you get at the front while not at the back such as the Serena you get 7 for each passenger but you still can charge your phone yes, you get 2 USB and 1 socket power socket right here and so to me this car is pretty suitable for some people who have a family with 7 people but with a tight budget so to me this time is a good time to buy the Proton Ezra because it was a good bargain with below 70,000 ringgit you get a C segment MPV a mid size MPV so yeah, this is my conclusion of this 2019 Proton Azora. So if you have any comments, can please drop down below. And if you like my video, can also subscribe my channel, like and share my videos. So thank you guys and cheers.